in the middle we have five LEDs for indicating the working lines, for example CC, data plus, data minus, this is power supply positive and ground. Plug in the power cable where it says power in and nothing happens. Right here and the other on type C. And take a look, we have four lights, meaning that, that the cable is okay. And yes, take a look. When you move the connector, one of the LEDs is flashing. Let's do it this way. Yes, the ground. The connector is bad. All right. Positive power supply and positive. Yes, we have a continuity. Great. It's a simple board module that you can use to test your cables for one dollar from AliExpress. Once again, no bubbles. What is happening? PCB modules. Whoa. And they are so tiny. It's 14 millimeters by almost 11. 14 by 11. Chip, it says 223B or JL2517J. What Mr. Google fa find for me? The TTP223B integrated circuit is a single channel capacitive touch sensor chip that replaces traditional mechanical buttons providing a digital output signal in response to a human touch or proximity. Okay, let's place. But take a look when you touch it without touching the distance for activating the module it's maybe five millimeters without touching so using this chip capacitive touch sensor chip that replaces traditional mechanical buttons you can control uh, let's say like this four relay mo module switch take a look just with touching I am activating the relay and on that relay I can attach a bigger load. I got it. Finally! Bubbles! Oh. Ooh. Beautiful. A small instruction manual. Wire and delivery. Diagram, okay. Six, seven. Turn on on seven volts, but the but the bar graph it's not working. Let's check the. USB does it give 5 volts at 7 volts? Yes, the USB ports are giving 5 volts at 7 volts input, but the bar graph it's not turn it on. Let's increase the voltage. Whoa, 9.8 volt and we have two red lines. Twelve point one, twelve point six, seven, eight, nine, thirteen volts, and we, the bar graph is fully with that red and green lines. All right. Third row, one point nine amperes, and it's holding at five volts. The USB port is doing a great job. And take a look, two point five amperes, and the voltage stays at 5 volts and that is great also on the power supply 
it says that, it, that we are pulling 16 watts and at 12 volts 1.3 amperes the link will be in the description below so you can check it and that this is a great find on Aliexpress and it's cheap but useful for DIY projects and I love that bar graph with red and green no bubbles For those who don't know, this is the Peer Motion Sensor. And on this gadget, we have input and output. The input DC voltage can be from 5 volts to 24 volts DC voltage. And from the other side, you can hook up, let's say, a LED strip, but the maximum will be 3 amperes. So, if you put 5 volts, the output will be 5 volts. If you hook up a 12 volts, the output will be 12 volts and you need to attach a LED strip that works on 12 volts. I have a 9 volt power adapter. I'm gonna plug in where it says input. Alright. There is no LED indicator that is working. And the LED strip I will plug in to the other side. Reset. Start now. Okay. it was around 20 seconds and the output voltage is 8.93 can you hear it beautiful beautiful All right. we have the potentiometer two DC jacks one for input one for output and the multimeter is turned off it have an auto shutdown timer and take a look only one small what is this a transistor maybe all right and as i said it have a sensor for detecting a light so will work only at night all right a nice gadget I like it and it's cheap and will be useful in one of my rooms. Oh, I need to assemble. Beautiful. Bubbles. As you can see, some of the parts need to be assembled. The front and the back panel. I have the instruction manual, the screws. You can choose red or blue. We have USB input right here. You can also plug in micro USB connector right here. This is bug boost converter step up, step down. And the voltage will be displayed right here on this LED display. We have two buttons. What he says, we, okay, we have two LEDs, the first LED indicates power on, the second LED is for constant current indication, we have two multi-turn potentiometer for adjusting the voltage and the current.
Take a look how beautiful looks this gadget. With that blue color and everything assembled with the front and back panel. This is art, beautiful art. I like gadgets like this one. Okay, let's plug in in 3, 2, 1. And yes, working fine. It's beautiful rechargeable digital multimeter with auto function. And on the USB power gadget, right here we have the output on these terminals. And what it says, it says 30 volts exactly. But right here we have 29.8 volts. It's close. It's good. Power on. And the, drop, the voltage drop. Because the constant current is powered on. Indicating with the LED. I'm gonna give more amps with the multi-turn potentiometer. Constant current. Little bit more. 2, 6 volts I think. Yes, 6 volts. And it's pulling 900 and 20 milliampers watts 5.5 watts 6 volts to test the short protection yes working great take a look all right i have dc input voltage of 5 volts and output of 30 volts okay this go right here it, whoa oh it's opposite okay and yes and this LED chip is pulling 0 0.04 amperes at 30 volts this LED chip works on 36 volts what is pulling 1.1 watt at 29.7 volts what do you think please tell me in the comments about this USB power DC to DC converter input 5 to 12 volts output from 0.5 to 30 volts 15 watts maximum with adjustable voltage adjustable current LED display and good looking design.